you're so ruined and written off. You're like, I'm not even bothered about shooting. I'm not even, I forgot I was on a shoot. I thought we were just going on a SAS selection or something. <laughs> interesting yeah how is g yeah he's uh miraculously really good <laughs> as usual <laughs> like um rampage was a scary one to be honest g's very good at um not making a big deal out of things yeah he's that strong mentally uh -huh. like you would not know but i mean he came back from rampage in a pretty bad way and then when i heard from other people because after Rampage, it seemed like, okay, right. But then there was some complications. Uh -huh. And I was like, I was, I was like, is this it? Like, right. But then all of a sudden, he, I think it's like common news now. Yeah, he's put it out himself, so I can talk about it. But he was in the Halo. Yeah, saw that was some meant pictures, to be for like yeah. a few months. Yeah. And then he, te like, a, I think he's still got two months on it. He texted me when I was had the Halo off today. I'm like, what? <laughs> and I was like, not even sure if maybe in a few months he has the Halo off and then he's like, still not good. Yeah. He's like, yeah, I had the Halo off and back in the gym and like, back on the, back on the grind. It's like Unreal. insane to see. Yeah. That's why I think we've worn the story into the ground now. We've done so many G recovery stories, <laughs> but like, it's, it's so inspiring to write yeah, about. Yeah, That's yeah. why I did that one. Um, because it's just like, I just don't know anyone else like that. No, the re the resilience. Yeah. I mean, it's all well and good, like coming back from something like that knife edge crash mm -hmm. and living a normal life again. Mm -hmm. But coming back and living a G life of riding hard line and more ridge line. And, and if anything, just gets bigger every yeah. time. Like but nothing. The Dolomite's trip was just ridiculous. Really? Yeah. 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 So obviously like, typical uh g fashion like it's like oh yeah we're gonna go out to dolomites and we're gonna have a look like i kind of thought we'd like drive around in an, in the car look up at some hills <laughs> drink coffee <laughs> eat ice cream and be like oh cool um yeah that looks good it was snowing and first day we do like one of the gnarliest hikes i've ever done in my life mm -hmm. and that went on for four days we did this gnarly hike. The first day was like easy comparatively. Yeah. yeah. Didn't really find anything. And the next day, like we're just walking through like, we're up 3000 meter peaks, walking through knee deep snow. We uh, got in a bit of trouble when we posted the videos, but mountain rest, you know, mountain savvy people were like, right. you're idiots, which is fair. <laughs> we were, but it was very dangerous what we were doing. Yeah. And it was four days of just absolute grind. Like we literally wake up 6 a.m., whatever, drive, walk for four or five hours up a hill. In the snow is the worst part about yeah. it. It's like each step feels like an eternity. It's just hell. Um, we got that done. We got through four days of that. I'm like, did you see anything? Because it was just snow. And he's like, yeah, yeah. Okay. Then we went back. And yeah, that we did seven days filming for that Dolomites trip. Yeah. Uh for the for the edit. And a couple of days, this is the problem with filming these things. Like, cause you don't want to just go out, go to some spot we know is gonna work and create an edit which is gonna do okay. Which anyone could do There's, in a way, pointless. I guess. Yeah. It's yeah. Honest, as far as we're concerned, that's completely pointless. Yeah. We wanna go out, we wanna do something that nobody's done. Yeah. And the only way you can do that is by absolutely burying yourself into the ground most of the time. <laughs> so we we go out there and we spend seven days and like, obviously, because you're taking risks and all of it, like, you know, two of the days just didn't work. Right. We walked literally maybe five hours. Carrying bikes. And spot, and yeah, kit carrying and, bikes, yeah. cameras, everything. Just didn't work. We just came home. We got nothing. <laughs> and then you get back, like, you get back at maybe seven o'clock, have dinner, go to bed, wake up again, go again. Like, and it's just that for seven days. And it was a brutal environment to film in. Yeah. Um, that it's the first time I've been on a project and I've been like, the, the actual shooting's not been the priority. The priority has been like making sure everyone's safe, making yeah. sure everyone actually the physical side as well. You're so ruined and written off you're like i'm not even bothered about shooting i'm not even i forgot i was on a shoot i thought we were just <laughs> going on a 
SAS selection or something. <laughs> yeah, it feels like a training yeah. camp. Yeah. Um, but it was uh, it was the first time all the other the Ridgeline videos have been involved in shooting them. But it was the first time I felt very involved in like, G was asking us about, you know, G, was, G wanted all of us involved. And yeah. it was it was a small team. We only had uh, two filmers and, okay. and myself and somebody else to carry the bikes. Uh, yeah, yeah. Jamie, who's on all the projects. And uh, it was like the one of my probably favorite projects to date just because of, how, you know, it's not the video itself went really well, but it's yeah. like, even though we hated it 90% of the time, you always <laughs> like look back retrospectively and you're like, that's what made it. Always the way, right? Yeah. Yeah, the stuff that seems hard at the time. Yeah. And and also as well, like we thought it was just going to flop. Like we came back, we were like, have we even got enough? Interesting. Because this is the problem. You spend all this time just getting there. Yeah. And, and you might get a couple of hours a day filming or it doesn't work at all. Yeah. And it's like, we finished and we're like, I don't even know if we've got like an edit here. And for it to turn out like it did and get the reception it did and stuff, we were like, couldn't be happier. Nice. So more, more yeah. something. With, yeah, more somethings on the way. <laughs> with uh, Jeopardy yeah. involved. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. I look forward to it, man.